We're creating a extended reality studio for film and television purposes. So we can bring real world scenarios into the virtual world. We've got this big kind of back curved sweeping wall as well as a, an LED floor. We can get video content behind and underneath our performers, so completely surrounding them with, with video. In the studio behind us we've got an array of LED reflective markers which the camera tracker looks at. That triangulates the position of our film camera and allows the 3D scene which we are generating in real time to move in response to our film camera. So as the film camera moves, the content reacts to that movement to create parallax depth, perspective that looks real, feels real, and the actors can respond to in real time. For me as a presenter, the thing that is so exciting about it is that unlike green screen, I can actually interact with the space. I can see the environment that I'm walking through and appearing in. In a green screen studio, you add the, the visual backdrops in post. What we're doing here, we're capturing those directly in camera. We're using a real-time simulation system called Notch, which is based on 3D physics and allows us to do particle simulations, weather, or anything that's more abstract, more illustrative. We've then got the Unreal Engine, which is responding to the camera movement and loading in our 3D scenes into our LED environment. And that will be able to simulate different environments, different lighting situations, and even focus and depth of field in real time. We've actually also built a, an iPad interface that enables the director to be able to adjust these parameters, as well as you know, a number of camera parameters. We can adjust the, the depth of focus, the aperture, all that kind of details. The post-production has essentially moved into the studio itself. It's happening live. It's being captured live. If you want to do changes, you do changes on the fly right away, and then you shoot it. We can extend the LED wall itself, but not physically speaking, we're not adding more panels on the LED screen. We're extending the screen by adding augmented reality graphics on the sides of it. We also have a number of lighting panels. So this is made up from a much lower resolution LED product, but much brighter. And the idea with this is that we can essentially light the performance space with video content. It gives that much more kind of natural look and feel to the, the final scene. Everything can be done in one shot, and that the shot looks better because the actors, the lighting, is all in one environment. This is not the first time I've been on a mixed reality stage, but I think the Mars stage is quite interesting because it has a different take. It's very much putting quality and cinematography at the forefront of how the stage functions. What we have here is not just the physical facilities. We also have the production services. We're also creating the content, if you like. We're providing the technical consultancy the operators, the DOPs, the entire crew to put this film production together. We are essentially creating another tool in the toolbox for filmmakers and for live broadcast, where filmmakers and content creators can think to themselves, oh, I'm going to shoot that on location, I'm going to shoot that in a studio, I'm going to shoot that on Mars.